Bonjour. Today is Nicole's wedding day. Wedding day. I'm about to be a wife. You're stuck with me. Oh, don't make it sound like it's a bad thing. Oh, I know it's a great thing. Bree's stuck with me too. Bree's already getting ready. Maid of honor, there's Honey Bee, Eileen. Wedding day. Wedding day, yay! Uh, welcome back this hour. We are sharing stories that defy the odds. And back with us are the Bella Twins, Bree and Nikki. That was a clip from the new show, Nikki Bella Says I Do, giving fans an inside look and Nikki's summer wedding in Paris mm. da to Dancing with the Stars pro Artem Chingvinsev. Joining us still is, uh, we still have the twins with us, but uh, this, this is a big deal for us. Because oh, yeah. the man is coming out. I, mean, I know. Coming Are you out. ready? He's here? Woo! He's here? Okay. Let's bring out Nikki's husband, Artem! Oh, me. Boy. okay, so what are the odds you dance together, you mm -hmm. fall in love? Yeah. I mean, how do you explain <laughs> it? <laughs> um, Artem, why don't, don't you know. tell him your no, first why thought? Did she say it? I don't no, know. Why did she say it? Um, <laughs> so, the little story behind it. So, every time we meet our partners for Dancing with the Stars, we have to call back to executive producer and say, like, how did it go? And I remember, like, just blurring, it's like, oh, I think I'm in love. It, it, it was amazing. And I even said that not meaning like I'm in love, like, oh my God, like I'm, like, it's just like blurred out. I mean, it's odd to ask you, did you feel the same way? But <laughs> did you, did you feel that chemistry? So when I first met him, no, but I, <laughs> but. Okay. No well, filter Nikki. No filter Nikki. Yeah. But I did, there was a chemistry and incredible chemistry throughout. See, I feel like I saw it when you were dancing. You know, and I'm like everyone watching would at home say and I'm like, that. Yeah. I was like, there's something going on here. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I loved Artem in the way where we became such good friends. Yeah. And I think being such a strong, independent woman, when you get thrown on a dance floor on live TV and then you're gonna be judged at the end, I was like, I need you, I'm dependent on you, <laughs> like, you're my everything. And so um, we just had a different bond than I had with anyone else, but I realized that when the show ended, I missed him. Like, uh. I missed our conversations and hanging out. And then that was just it, we didn't talk anymore. And then when I went through a very public breakup, yeah. all of a sudden, um, I got a text from Martin, I'm like, hey, are you okay? Yeah. Like, I'm seeing you everywhere, like, how are you doing? So you called to check in on her after the breakup. Yeah. Well, were you checking in on her? <laughs> <laughs> or were you checking yeah. in yeah. on her? No, <laughs> Even Bree no, wants to know the in. answer <laughs> here. So what was the check-in, yeah. Artem? Yeah. the hot spot over here, what? <laughs> you, are, are you? you are. Um, you know, just checking <laughs> in, <laughs> honestly. You wonder about the guy who calls. Right. After a big breakup, especially that one, that was all. Right. Over. So, you, 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 were you calling because no, you? No, I actually genuinely cared. You cared. Like you yeah. okay? Like because yeah. I know. I mean, breakups are never fun. They're not. Uh, I think everyone's been through some sort of a breakup. So I just want to see, like, are you doing okay? Like, and when she said she was okay because she's resilient, yeah. you're yeah. like, and here's my chance. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to go to the like, farmers market? market? Oh, yeah. you, oh, yeah, <laughs> There's nothing like a farm. Market date. I like that. Right. Yeah. Bree, what is it like for you to because you're inseparable in so many ways, professionally, basically giving birth at the same time. She's rubbing both of y'all's yeah. knee right now. <laughs> um Are you nervous? what is it like <laughs> to have, you know, th this dream of a brother-in-law? Right. I actually have to say, I feel so blessed to have Artem as a brother-in-law. Um, I mean, my sister and I picked the greatest men, human beings in the world to be yeah. married to. So true. And it, I, it's yeah. true. So true. Thank you. It's true, Artem. Um, but it takes a type of man to marry twins because yeah. you're not marrying one, you're marrying yeah. both. And <laughs> Brian and Artem, they have, they'll have these conversations like, we understand each other, yeah. But they're so great about letting this relationship live and Aww. letting us be yeah. so close. Mm -hmm. They're so great about us doing our sister Sundays yeah. and just having our time. And we always make sure to take care of them too. And so it's just, I feel so blessed that I get to call you my brother. Aww. Oh my God. Aww. Thank you. Yeah. But we have to get to the brass tacks of this wedding. Ooh, so yes. the wedding, you, four weeks to plan. Crazy. I know. See, I, we and I are on the yeah, same page. Yes. What were y'all thinking? 
So I thought it was a great idea. At first. Four weeks. Yeah, was a great I'm like, idea. this is easy. You just call yeah. someone, you get a cake, and then you get flowers, <laughs> and I'll just text everyone a date. Like I don't need to do invites. Oh, look at this. Yeah, I mean. and then well, you pulled I, it off. I pulled it off. Yeah, I definitely suggested to no one to do four weeks no. because I realized that was four not weeks a, great a destination idea. with a baby. With a baby. I mean, it it was wild. One thing you didn't plan for, which I could not believe this happened. <laughs> Mateo got sick. Your son, when it was time to walk down the aisle, yeah. so he couldn't be the ring? No, and what? so he, we had the Nutcracker song playing, and I was like, we both looked down the okay. aisle, and he's our ring oh, bearer. And then I'm like, he's not there. And then I feel, my brother, his tap is like this. Like, <laughs> yeah. And I feel, and I look. It's during the ceremony, During too. the ceremony, and my brother literally hands me the pill the rings, and he goes, hey, uh, Mateo's like throwing up nonstop. But don't worry about it, get married. <laughs> And I just grab the rings from him and I'm looking and I look at Artem. And I'm standing next to her and I look out the window because I don't know why I could feel, you know when you just feel? Yeah. And I'm looking out and I see their nanny with Mateo going in the van and I'm like. Which no one told me that either. So <laughs> okay, I'm thinking that at least he's in the out. bridal suite. So Artem's putting the ring on me and I'm not even in body at this point. I don't <laughs> even remember Because your baby is point. in a trailer. Yeah, because then I'm like, am I a terrible mom? I'm waiting <laughs> to get a ring put on my finger and my son's vomiting in the back. Okay, and this is why this is a reality honestly. show. Honestly. And we I mean, get you know to the watch it all. are high-fiving in the back, like, we couldn't write this. Like, it's just <laughs> happening. As our show said, what are the odds that you're what? walking down oh, your dream wedding and your baby is in the trailer getting <laughs> yeah. sick? Well, we love you. Congratulations. You. I can't wait to watch it all play out. Thank you're a great guy. Thank you so much. I love the both of you. Tam fam, don't forget to get your inside look at the What Are The Odds wedding. Nikki and Artem time tonight. Nikki Bella says I do premiering tonight on E! Check your local Lizzie. And you can find the Bella's podcast where they keep it real and honest and fun on the SiriusXM app and all podcast platforms. Great, Nikki Artem, thank you so much. Congratulations.